Hi, I'm Chris Mason. I have the Parish House in Bed and Breakfast, and I'm going to show you how to make my delicious cherry and almond scones, and I'm serving it with my homemade strawberry jam. Okay. To make our scones, we need four cups of flour, and I usually put mine into my Cuisinart and let it do the work, to which I will add the sugar, the baking powder, so cream of tartar, and salt. I will put the top on it and let it run for a minute to mix up. Then I will add one and a half cups of butter to which I have cut up in little tiny squares to make it easier for the machine to break it up. And you can check and make sure that it's, it's broken up into little tiny pieces. And now I'm going to just empty this into my mixing bowl. And I will add my dried cherries, half a cup of dried cherries and some sliced almonds. Mix them up. I will also have a, a one egg yolk, which I've mixed with my cream and I'm kind of breaking it up as I stir. And then I'm gonna add just a little drop of almond flavoring, just to give it a little punch. I'll stir this in and mix it gently. Then when it gets down to where it's all kind of mixed together, the best thing to do is to take some flour and put it on your hands. And just go in there and make it come together with your hands. You know, the hand, your hands are your best tool in the kitchen. So we're kind of just going to knead it a little bit in the bowl as we mix it all, finish mixing it all together. <clears throat> Getting it from the edges. And kind of as we go. And then take my fork and I can get the rest of the ingredients out there like that. Okay. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour and add my, my dough. <clears throat> Finish getting it out of the bowl here. You don't want to leave any of the good stuff in the bowl. And then just give it a couple a little bit more down and down and back, down and back to get it nice and smooth but not too much. See, just so it's nice and smooth like that. I'm gonna divide it in half. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this half and give it a little bit more of a workout <laughs> and try to smooth it out that way and take and flatten it out to approximately a seven inch circle. And you can figure that out after you've been doing this for a while so that you have a, a, a good depth from which the, the dough can rise. And as you can see, my fingers are all full of dough as well. So you want these edges to kind of get in there. Okay, so that's approximately my seven inch circle. So now what we wanna do is make our scones. We're gonna cut it this way. This makes eight scones, so we're gonna cut it with our edge and you don't want to <clears throat> saw you want to just go straight through because if you saw you're going to make the edges of the dough so now that I've cut these we're going to put them in a wine baking pan kind of alternate them back and forth take our egg yolk because we <clears throat> we divided our our egg and put the egg 
I mean, we're going to take our egg whites, I'm sorry, the egg yolk went in with the cream, and we're just going to beat it up like this a little bit. And I have a little bit of cream left in the end of my thing. I'm just going to add it to the, the egg whites to make it a little thinner. It doesn't take much. Just beat it up with your brush. And then I'm again going to add just a little drop of almond flavoring to kind of bring that almond out. So get it beat up really Kind of smooth and then you just simply <clears throat> brush it right over the tops of the scones and the reason we're doing that is so that we can put uh, a topping of sugar and almonds so people will know that they're almond <clears throat> and they will stick it also makes them nice and shiny gives them a little bit of a glaze and uh, it makes them pretty so and then we use the rest of our <clears throat> so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put some some almonds on the top of the scones just as decoratively or as undecoratively as you'd like <clears throat> they will bake up beautifully <clears throat> on top of the scones and kind of make them <clears throat> eye appeal for your scones so people will go oh aren't those beautiful and gives it more professional finish uh, if you can put some kind of a topping that relates to the ingredients on <clears throat> both the scones or muffins or something like that, it really helps with eye appeal <clears throat> in a finished product. Even if it's just some icing, sometimes we want to put icing on after after we make scones or muffins and just give a little drizzle and that makes it look appealing as well. So you want to make sure these are a little bit on the flat side so they stick down. Let me take that up, put a couple more on here. This needs a couple more on here. <clears throat> okay. So check it out. Make sure it looks good to you. <clears throat> and then you're going to take, I use uh, <clears throat> the raw sugar and just gives it a little bit better, a better shine, a little bit better crunch when it's baked and just shake it on the top of this. And then when they're all baked, they... <clears throat> will again have a nice shiny topping and crunch when you bite into them. Doesn't take a whole lot of sugar, just nice and even over the top. And if you'll use parchment paper, it'll help your, your scones not stick and you'll be able to get them off a little bit easier. Okay, so now I'm going to take them over to a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes and then we'll check them again. Okay. These are my finished scones. They just came out of the oven. You'll see they're lightly browned. And I'm going to take one and put it on my plate and serve it with my homemade strawberry jam. You can, it's delicious with coffee in the morning or tea in the afternoon.